Yo, what is good everybody and thank you so much for stopping by the channel once again from us over here at Locust Mod Honey. So to start out today's vlog, we have a couple of packages to unbox just before we go ahead and head out. This was kind of an impulsive purchase, I humbly admit that, but given the price point and given the fact that I've always kind of eyed these, I did decide to just kind of splurge and like treat myself. And a shout out real quick to Mikhail in the Facebook group. He's actually also one of my moderators uh, for selling me these shoes. So here we have the Nike Air Fear of God 1 in the sale colorway. Now, I'm not gonna lie, first impressions, I've actually not seen these in person, but hold on one second. Okay, so now that I have the sales as well as the light bones in hand next to each other, kind of realize they look really, really identical, like very similar. All right, so now onto our second and final package of the day. This one actually comes from Club Paradise. It's a pretty big box, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the ground. And first up, we have a pair of olive cargos. Yeah, these feel, they're nice and light. Almost have a, uh, a nylon texture to them. I think they are nylon. Next up, we have a hoodie, lovers and friends. Thank you, fellas, appreciate it. Ooh, and this is actually the piece that I was most looking forward to. They made uh, some digi camo flannels. This is really sick. I'll go ahead and throw this on right now. Definitely uh, on the oversized side, but this thing is really clean. Wow, I'm impressed. Good job, fellas. Club Paradise. Anyways, guys, let's go ahead and get out of here and get today's vlog started. So as I was getting ready to get out of here, it started raining. So I did decide to change it up for today. I'm finally wearing my nylon hood rude sweater. And the sole purpose of me purchasing this hoodie was for rain and it like never rains here. And then I did decide to go ahead and wear the cargos from Club Paradise. They're actually pretty fire, I'm not gonna lie. They're very comfortable. I do believe that they are like a stretchy nylon. Anyway, let's go ahead and get out of here and meet up with Jordan. Yo, what is good guys? So we're out here in front of Urban Outfitters. We're gonna go ahead and head inside to see what we can find. Honestly, it's been quite a bit of time since I've been to Urban Outfitters. I don't know what they have, what they carry, or what they offer these days. Every other time I've ever been to Urban, they've always been at the cutting edge of having very trendy things. So, without further ado, go ahead and head inside. So per usual, you guys know the drill. This is not an outfit challenge. Am I getting a full outfit from here? If that does end up happening, then it ends up happening. But the aim for today's video is to find the best pieces we can to work into what we already have. Uh, right off the bat, I see some rayon shirts. Definitely a really great look for summertime, even in the spring, uh, if you live in warmer climates. This material is super, super nice. And uh, it just so happens that Gabby said that this stylish shirt is one of her favorites on me, so might have to consider so that's some crop corduroys here these are definitely a vibe especially in uh like the pastel colors looks like uh the salmon's pretty much sold out i think this is periwinkle actually is that periwinkle it's like a velour jacket feel that it's so nice wow that's so soft it's so soft um Dude, look at these. These are literally a rip off of Minimal. And I know there's a lot of people out there that are gonna say Minimal just rips people off. That's fine, you can go ahead and say that, but tell me that this is not a Minimal design. Minimal did these first. Even before everybody else, Minimal did this style first. And uh, there's no buttons at the bottom, so that's the only difference, but, but no shade. Do your thing, Urban. They're a nice pair of cargos. One of middle's best sellers too. So what's been a really popular aspect of these videos has been cargos. And you guys have been loving all the different cargos I've been showing. And look at these. They got, they're kind of similar to the ones that we saw at H&M. Uh, they aren't that old crinkly nylon look. It's just like a straight normal nylon look. But uh, 
These are definitely really nice. They're nice and light. I feel like they're gonna be very comfortable. And it's two layers of nylon, which is definitely nice as well. So that makes that means that's really, really thin and airy. Did anybody know Chinatown Market is now an urban? That's really cool. 30, 32, 31. So I'm looking for a 30, 30, yeah, 30, 30. It's not necessarily to get a crop look, it's more so so like I, because I'm a shorter guy, so like when I wear like high tops and Jordans and stuff, I like to be able to see like the sneakers. So that's why I want to get a 30 30. Uh, no 30 30s. So it's either I get a 30 32, which will fit my waist. Yeah, these are going to be really tapered and long. So you know what? They're going to stack well. Mm -hmm. because they're tapered and they're really long. This is like a 34 inseam. These are fire. You got some carpenter pants, 70 bucks. Now, I know you can easily find these on eBay and stuff, but uh, for the purposes of today's video, I'm good with these. These are fire, I love these. I think I'm gonna get the tan ones too. Let me find my size here. So much stuff. <laughs> Got some cargos over here. These aren't bad. Are the women? The cruise women. So we're now in women's section, guys. Is it okay that I like this, dude? It's actually fire. It's like pretty fire, too. right? Yeah. Quilted bomber. Nice and bomber. 90 bucks. That's not too bad, actually. And for a jacket that feels like that good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It literally looks actually vintage. It's like distressed and everything. Like, look at that. It literally looks vintage. It's just way too big, it looks like. This is fire. Snoop, dude. Dude, why spend a grand? This shirt goes for a grand, dude. <laughs> That's a good blank. It's really good. Ooh, this might be, this might be very, very good. So they're all different sizes. All right, I'll, I'll just bring, I'll just bring with, and if I can find any of this stuff, as always guys, link will be in the description. But yeah, that's cool. Yo, what is good everybody? So we're back here at the apartment and as you can see, we have got the goods. But just before we jump into what I did end up purchasing, I did want to say a few things. Number one, Minimal did restock the vintage crewnecks and these things are amazing. It comes in green as well as in this vintage black here. And they did sell out really, really fast last time. So I did want to make sure I let you guys know of that i do go for a size medium i'm approximately 5 7 and it does fit pretty oversized i've had this one for eight months now and as great as it comes originally like really nice fade and wash guys i have to say it gets even better over time i love this thing i wear this thing all the time anyways if you guys are interested in this crew neck here or anything on minimal's website use my code paul at checkout to save some money the second thing I wanted to say is thank you so much. I feel like you guys have really been engaged through the duration of the series. And if it wasn't for you guys suggesting so many great places to go to, I probably wouldn't have made these videos possible, guys. So thank you so much for enjoying the videos, liking, commenting, and all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, thank you to the person who suggested Urban Outfitters. It's been a while since I had gone there. And I found a ton of really great things, which leads me to say, I think I'm going to go back if you guys are open to it. Would you guys be interested in prolonging this? Maybe doing a part two at Urban. Like I said, I did find a lot of good things, but the store I was at had very sparse sizing. If you guys want to see me go back, definitely let me know in the comment section down below. And then the third thing I wanted to say is actually thank you once again. And my way of thanking you guys is to do a giveaway. I did end up purchasing a really sick pair of pants that I love a lot. 
and I think you guys will like a lot as well. What I decided to do is once the winner is randomly selected, I'm going to go ahead and purchase the pair of pants on the website and have it sent to their house. And that allows for anybody to enter the giveaway regardless of size and where you're at. So I figured that would make it a little bit more fair if that makes sense. Anyways, there is a code word for this giveaway, so comment it down below. The word is Vintage Black. So it's Vintage Black and comment your IG handle in addition to the word Vintage Black. Make sure you follow me on Instagram as well as here on YouTube. You have to be subscribed. And of course, like today's video. Once, once you've followed all three instructions and you have to follow all three of them, you are entered for the giveaway. So with that, keep an eye on my Instagram stories where I will be announcing the giveaway winner for the pants from Urban Outfitters. Anyways, guys, that's enough of that. Let's go ahead and jump into what I did end up purchasing. And uh, the first purchase was actually kind of stupid. <laughs> so I found a pair of pants, like I said, that I really liked. And I asked the manager, hey, do you guys have these in the back per chance? And so they brought them out in my size, but they brought out the wrong pants. I'm probably just gonna return these. Uh, the second thing that I ended up purchasing, and this is what I'm gonna be giving away, is a phenomenal pair of pants. I really, really like these. And these are from BDG, which is, I believe, uh, Urban Outfitters in-house brand. And uh, as you can see, we have a pair of carpenter pants. They are comprised of a thin, lightweight denim. They are so, so good. They're so fire. They have a nice wash to them. They look really aged and faded and feature nice details, which kind of remind you of just a cool pair of carpenter pants. You got this belt loop here on the back. I guess it wouldn't be a belt loop, but you do have a loop, uh, some extra pockets here on the side. And of course the signature carpenter paneling, which add a nice detail. Uh, but amongst all things, I love how these fit. And I think that's the most important part about these pants. They fit perfectly in my opinion. Uh, they're not slim to the extent of them being kind of skinny or whatever, but at the same time, they're not like super baggy. And that essentially allows them to fit a plethora of different sneakers. I think all sneakers look good with these, with the exception to maybe runners. And yeah, these are the pants that I will be giving away in your size, of course. These are, this is my personal pair, but yeah, very good pair of pants. And then on to what is my favorite pickup of the day. Guys, I love what I ended up purchasing now. I wanted to give this item away, but I figured that a lot of you guys aren't gonna like it. And uh, I think it's a total hit or miss kind of piece, but I really, really like it. So what we have here is this paneled denim dyed overshirt. So, so good guys. In my opinion, I think this is such a wearable item. I'm really, really ecstatic. And I actually found this on my way out from checking out at Urban Outfitters. I just kind of saw it on a mannequin. I was like, yo, I need to buy that. I did go for a size medium in this piece and it does fit kind of oversized, at least to the degree of where you can wear a hoodie underneath and not feel like super tight, if you will. But with that to say, you can absolutely wear this with just a t-shirt. And due to the fact that the inner lining is all paneled nylon, it feels amazing on the skin. And like I said, it will fit a little oversized if I do decide to wear it with a t-shirt. But um, yeah, it's super fire. I love the wash on it. The details are very good. As you can see, it features a corduroy collar. The hardware on here is really nice. I feel like the silver buttons really play well against the black denim, the black wash denim. And uh, yeah, it's so fire. This thing fits amazing. And this is like a piece that I could wear every day. So yeah, I love this thing. Very, very grateful that I found it on my way out. And if I can find this piece on the website, I will definitely have a link in the description to where you can purchase it. And yeah, that was my last piece, guys. Thank you so, so much for all the support. Thank you for enjoying the videos. As long as you guys enjoyed this series, I'm gonna keep it going. So thank you for staying engaged, liking the videos, commenting, and suggesting more places. If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't have known to go to some of these places. So yeah, again, thank you very, very much. Anyways, with all that being said, that's gonna do it for today's video. Hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up button, join the giveaway, use the code word if you know it. And as I end every video here at Locust Wild Honey, I'm gonna say peace and be blessed.